Hello everyone, this is Al Smith with Learn to Earn Tutoring and I have another problem that I'm going to work on today and this is a pretty complicated problem that one of my students sent and I want to make sure I go over it with the student and for anyone else who may have the same type of issue. Just to let you know, if you are looking for a tutor, just click the description below and just to keep it simple, if you are looking for a tutor, if you can watch this video, we can help you with either your math or any subject that you may need help in. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this problem. Um, now, the name of this kind of problem is actually subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. But the thing is, the unlike denominators have expressions in there as well. So we have variables, and these variables are the same, but the denominators are not the same. So let's go ahead and get started with this problem. All right, so to go ahead and try and do this problem, your best bet is to uh, do this is a bit of a shortcut that I use because a lot of times with this kind of problem is not too many shortcut methods with this so that's why I want to make sure I go through this problem very thoroughly so that everyone understands how to do this kind of problem because it is a bit tricky All right. so the method that I'm going to use to try to work out this problem is I'm going to cross multiply and then I'm going to multiply the denominators okay and that's how I go ahead and try to uh, solve this problem because I have to make sure my denominators are the same so then I can be able to add my uh, numerators and then I will be able to solve this problem. All right, so to go ahead and start this, I have to make sure I cross multiply my 6x and my x plus 2. Then I would multiply my x plus 4 times my x minus 3. And then I would multiply x minus 3 times x plus 2. All right, so let's go ahead and start working on this problem now. Now, what we are going to have to do is multiply 6x times x plus 2. And to do that, what you would do is write our 6x down here. And I'm going to write these kind of uh, close to each other because there's a lot of work to do with this problem. All right, so 6x times x plus 2. And then I'm going to cross multiply um, x plus 4. And remember, when I'm cross-multiplying, I have to put my negative in between because I have to bring this down here. So I would have my x plus 4. And I will multiply to my x minus 3 over here. And then I have to now multiply, multiply my uh, denominators now. Okay, so x minus 3. Is multiplied by x plus 2. Alright, so now what I have to do is simplify everything at the top because what I just did now is now my denominators are the same. So now I can go ahead and start working on simplifying. And then after I simplify, I will have my answer. Okay, so now I have to go ahead and distribute the 6x to my x and 6x times a 2. So 6x times x will be 6x squared. And then 6x times 2 will be 12x. So that will be a positive 12x over here. And then now for what I would have to do for up here, I would have to FOIL. So FOIL pretty much is multiply the two fronts, multiply the two outside numbers, multiply the two inner numbers, and then multiply my two last numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Multiply my two numbers, that's x squared, and make sure I put this back into parentheses. And the reason why is because when there's a negative here, I need to make sure I put this in parentheses, and I'll explain later why. All right, so x times x will give us x squared, which is this x times this x. And now my two outer x times a negative 3 will give me negative 3x. And then my uh, inside will be 4 times x will give me plus a 4x. And then my last will give me uh, 4 times negative 3 will be a negative 12. And then I close my parentheses and I go ahead and, oops, there you go. Then I go ahead and bring down my common denominator down here. All right, 
So now what I have to do is simplify this. Now, the reason why I put a negative here and made sure I put this in parentheses is because I'm going to have to distribute this negative to every single one of these uh, numbers here. So before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to make sure I combine all of my like terms inside here, okay? So this will simplify. I will bring down my 6x squared here. So I'll have 6x squared plus 12. Let's do some more simplifying here. Uh, will be this here, x squared. And then I can simplify these two, negative 3x and a plus 4. That will give me a positive x or positive 1x. Either one is the same. And I will bring down my 12. And then I will go ahead and bring down my same denominator I have here, which is my x minus 3, x plus 2. All right, so now we're going to keep working on our right-hand side over here. And almost forgot to put this down here. All right, so now to keep going, I'm going to have to distribute this negative to each one of these over here, okay? So I'll go ahead and start doing the work. I have to bring over my 6x squared plus this 12x because there's nothing that we can do yet. All right, so let's go ahead and write this down. 6x squared plus 12x minus, now this negative times x squared will give me a negative x squared, negative x squared. And then a negative times an x will give me negative x. And then a negative times a negative 12 is a positive 12. And then I bring my denominator over as well, which is this. x minus 3, x plus 2. All right. So now all I have to do is simplify everything at the top or combine all like terms, and then we are we will be pretty much done with this problem. All right, so now I have to simplify. This 6x squared, anytime you're trying to simplify and you have an x squared, I, a lot of times I call this maybe their last name because this helps me know what simplifies with what. So I look for anything that has a last name or has an x squared behind it. So I see an x squared here, and I have an x squared over here, and nowhere else I see any x squared. Now, when they don't, the reason why I don't write a number here is because I know I should, or we should all already know that there is an imaginary one right here. Okay, so 6 minus 1 will give me a positive 5. So when I simplify this uh, numerator here, I will get a positive 5x squared, and then that's done or I simplify this now, and then now I look for something else that has the same last name or the same um, variable at the end. So we have a uh, x here and an x here. This is another imaginary 1. So positive 12, negative 1. That gives me a positive 11x. And so this is simplified now. And the only thing I have left is this 12. So I'll bring down my positive 12 here. And I will bring down my denominator over here as well. X plus 2. All right. Now, with our denominator, I'm sorry, with our numerator here, we have to actually try and check and see if we can factor this any further. So how I would do this would be I would multiply my 5 and my 12. I'll start my factor sum tree here now. Now, 5 times 12 gives me 60. And then I use this number in the middle for my sum. And now I try and think of I use a little squiggly line just to um, show that I need to come up with terms to try to multiply and get 60. But then when these numbers add, I get 11. So first things that come to mind is to get 60 would be 6 times 10. Or maybe, let's see, 5 times 12. I'll just try different combinations. 
But the thing is, 6 times 10 will give me 60. But when I try to add 6 plus 10, that gives me 16. So I don't get this number here. And then I try the same thing for here. 5 times 12 will give me a 60. But when I add 5 plus 12, that gives me a 17. So notice I still cannot get uh, this term in the middle. I cannot find anything to multiply and answer the criteria that I need for me to continue simplifying this problem. So because I can't find anything for this, this is the top portion or the numerator is not factorable. So we do not need to continue going with this problem. We actually have our answer right here. All right, so I'll go ahead and circle our answer and show you guys this is it. So remember, this problem is pretty complicated. So I want to make sure that I go through as many videos to help you guys on this stuff because, like I say, you can do anything that you put your mind to. Just have to keep trying and trying again. But you will eventually get it, all right? And you will eventually get a breakthrough, all right? So once again, Al Smith with Learn to Earn Tutoring. You guys have a good one. And once again, the more you learn, the more you earn. Have a good one, everyone.